ridiculously cheap. What's up, my name is Mr. V here. Welcome to another video, guys. So in today's video, we're gonna take a look at five stocks that are still ridiculously cheap. But before we get started, guys, if you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, and how to invest and build wealth. So if that's something that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. So uh, again, some of these companies I'm gonna talk about today, as I've talked about here in detail on the channel. So um, definitely go check out um, a lot of these companies and check out my detailed analysis of the companies I've talked about. So um, right now with the craziness, the coronavirus thing and really hammering again on um, a lot of companies, um, some companies still have a great potential um, to explode, even though their prices are, their stock prices are really, really down. So um, top five that I've actually examined and done detailed analysis on would be number one on my list is ticket symbol ROTX, Radiant Technology. Um, right now trading at $58, 52-week um, high of about $158, 52-week low of $48, and dividend yield of 3.3%. Even though they're suspending their dividends for now, but um, I want you to think about it from two perspectives, right? You get growth, you get income. So growth will be if you went in at say $58 and this stock goes up to say $100, that's growth. And then once they establish and if this virus thing is over, they get back into business and then they reinstate that dividends. That's when you can start getting your dividends. Um, one of the things I'm really bullish about for RTX is because um, last week on their earnings call, they actually mentioned that they have about $18 billion worth of bad luck work. Um, ready to go and they do a lot of work with uh, the government and, and um, aerospace so it, you know the government spends money and as far as defense so they don't even mess around with that so that is work that's just getting ready to go they're just waiting for this virus thing to calm down so that people can start working so I'm really really excited about that um, number two is Disney so ticket symbol DIS um, last week on your call, you know, they actually missed their earnings about with about 28 cents, which it's okay, expected at this time of the year. And um, their business and their parks and their cruises was actually down about 58%, which is understandable. But Disney has uh, a lot of uh, different uh, uh, income streams that I, I'm, I'm excited about. So I'm not really worried about Disney, they're here to stay. Um, so price right now is $107. And if you listen to that call last week, during the call when they missed their earnings, the price actually dropped down to about $98 and then uh, kind of squeezed back up again. Um, their 52 week high is $153. Uh, 52 week low is $79. And they pay a dividend of 1.8%. They've suspended their dividends, just so you know. But I want you to think about it again from the perspective of two things happening. You get growth and you get income. Income from the dividends and growth from the stock just going up because you bought it cheap. So if they suspended dividends, I don't want you to just not want to buy the stock because they've suspended their dividends. You buy it because you're going to get that growth that will make up for the dividends that you're going to miss during this period. Then when they reinstate their dividends, then you're back in business. You break even. Sounds like a plan. All right, number three is DAL, Delta Airlines. Um, currently trading at $22 and some change. 52 week high of $63, 52 week low, $19. That was back in March. And dividend yield of about 6%. Um, again, airline companies are getting hammered. Um, uh, Delta is one of the biggest airlines here, here in the United States. So you, you know for sure they're not just going to get up and disappear. They're going to get back in business. They have uh, one of the largest fleet of planes, of commercial planes in the United States. So we know for sure as soon as these things calm down, people are going to travel. People are going to go up and down the country. People are going to travel abroad. Things are going to get back to normal. So Delta is going to get back in business. So that's another exciting one. Right now at $22. Um, that's not a bad entry point, but if we would have another outbreak of this virus, the stock might drop. So these prices here, the current prices doesn't mean that it's fixed. The prices still go up and down. So just keep an eye on this one. Number four on my list is ticket symbol ET, energy transfer. Um, again, it's kind of like an oil pipeline company in um, pipeline or oil companies are really struggling too. But I think this past week, they've started to squeeze back up a little bit. 
um, currently trading at seven dollars and fifty cents, fifty-two week high of fifteen dollars, fifty-two week low of three dollars, and a dividend yield of about sixteen percent. So um, this is another great stock, just kind of like a slipper stock, um, long-term buy, hold, and wait for that dividend to start kicked in, or when the price goes back up, you get that growth. So exciting. So and finally, ticker symbol C E Q P. Um, currently trading at eleven dollars. Uh, 52 week high of $40, 52-week low of $2. I wish I'd gotten it in you know, at this price. Man, $2. And then dividend yield of about 20%. So those are the top five are uh, undervalued stocks that are, I mean stocks that I consider still ridiculously cheap. So if I want to add a bonus in there, um, two companies that I might want to look at would be uh, Norwegian Cruise Line. Um, I actually posted a video about Norwegian Cruise Line and uh, how they raised $2 billion to actually keep them right now afloat for the next 18 months, even if they're not doing any business. They have enough money to keep them afloat. So um, that's another one to take a look at. Or if you want to check on Carnival Cruise, that's another risky one because they are getting investigated. But we know for sure all that is just politics. So um, they're going to get back in business. So those are the two bonus ones that you want to check. So these are the five. So question of the day, uh, which stocks or which dividend paying stocks do you know that are still ridiculously cheap? Let me know in the comment section. If you do have any questions about this list, don't hesitate to drop them in the comment section. And also, if you want to see my dividend portfolio that has over 40 um, different stocks that is actually broken down into different sectors, uh, I'm going to put a link in the description. Just go to my blog. Um, you should be able to find that list there and most of the stocks are all dividend paying stocks So that's it for this video guys. Don't forget to give that thumbs up if you find it useful That does help me rank here on YouTube and also don't forget to hit that subscribe button If you haven't already subscribed to the channel because YouTube tells me that 90% of you guys haven't already subscribed And as always guys stay safe and stay motivated